So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. With this season ending May 23rd, I'm here to bring you the ultimate Lost Sector guides. Featuring gameplay from all three classes, you're now able to skip to the character that you want to see. However, I do recommend watching all three since you'll be able to soak in the strategies more effectively, seeing multiple ways to tackle a given obstacle. The first run has the commentary, so be sure not to skip that one. The last two will be sped up with no commentary since there's honestly no reason to waste your time or repeat the same information. By the time you get there, the tips will all come together. Keep in mind, the exotic in rotation today is in the top line of the description. Also, the builds used in this video will be described briefly, and you can easily copy them with the dim links also in the description. And now that you know the location, let's hop right into the first class. Now the Titan build can be used by any class, and you don't need an exotic. Slap on Echo of Starvation for Devour. Devour heals you to full HP after getting a kill. Solar Siphon and Fire Power will give us the orbs we need for Devour. And for our weapons, we're going to be using a Pulse Rifle, a Glaive, and a Machine Gun that matches the current Elemental Surge. For me, it was Solar Week when I recorded this, but it might be Void Week for you. The dim link for the full build is in the description. Alright, so jumping right in, first thing we're going to want to do is proc our Devourer by throwing a grenade at this Legionary. Then, we will just start glaving everything down. If you are in a group of adds, you're going to want to finish them, as that's going to proc your invis, give you Devourer, and just keep you alive so that you can ambush them. So we're just going to clear the room of all the adds, and then we can take on the barrier champion. You are going to want to pretty much finish every single enemy, that way you don't get sniped or ambushed by any of the adds. After you clear the adds, just take care of the barrier, very simple stuff. You can use some of your machine gun, then switch to your pulse. After the barrier is down, throw your grenade right here to reproc your devour if you lost it during the barrier fight. Very simple stuff, and then we're just going to clear out this room the same exact way, just using our glaive and finishing everything. Now a good tip for you is most of the Cabal Legionnaires are two glaive shots to be able to finish, and the Scions are usually just one. Now this last guy here has quite a bit of health and does quite a bit of damage, so you're going to want to use your Glaive Projectile instead of meleeing him down the entire way. Just hit him a few times and then you can finish off with your melee. Then we'll just head down this hallway. First thing you're going to want to do when you enter this room is take care of those turrets. Then again, it's just rinse and repeat, we'll clear this entire room, and honestly, it is the exact same thing. For the majority of this Lost Sector, you are just going to be <laughs> glaving things down and finishing them. Very, very simple stuff. There's just a lot of adds, so that's why it takes quite a while. After you clear out enough adds, the next champion will spawn. You'll clear the rest of the adds, and then you can just focus him down. Just another barrier, and again, you'll just use your heavy and break that shield with the pulse rifle. After clearing that champion, you'll just head up here into the final boss room. We are already there. Now you see six minutes on the clock. That is again because we're not using any exotics to enhance our run. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head right here, right exactly where I'm running. That's where the unstoppables are. Now they'll chase you down a little bit and you can stun both of them and then start meleeing them down. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you hold down your block button while you're glaving, you will have a faster cast speed, which means more damage overall. So we'll just take care of them, and then we're gonna focus down the boss. Now if any adds come anywhere near us, we will just reproc our devourer and do that whole ad clear thing again. They will come behind us eventually. Now one thing to take note of is as you just saw, <laughs> unstoppable champions sometimes just randomly explode. Not too much you can do about it, just go into the exact same spot that we were previously. This time the adds are procced on us, so we'll just throw our grenade down, proc our devour, and we go back to ad clear. Just gonna focus the boss down, try to do some damage to him, and if something comes behind us, we'll kill it. Now 
We made quick work of this lost sector. For our Warlock build, we're using Osteostriga and Necrotic Grip for massive poison damage. We're also using a Glaive and a Linear Fusion Rifle. Finally, you'll need Shackle Grenades for the Barrier Champions. The full build can be found with the Dim Link in the description. Now for the third run, it seems my Hunter gameplay didn't get saved for some reason, so I have another Titan one. Hunters, don't worry though, since the first build that I showed in this video is universal, meaning that you can run it too. For the second Titan build, we are running Quicksilver Storm, a Glaive, and a Linear Fusion Rifle. This will be played on Strand Titan, so be sure to use Shackle Grenade. For the full build, be sure to click on the dim link in the description.
Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe if you found any value in this content, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Destiny 2 video. Peace.